Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to today's webinar. My name is Rachel Klein, and I will be your presenter here uh, for the next 20 minutes. Uh, today, we are going to be looking into adding photos um, on people's records in the membership module. Um, there's two places you can add a photo now in our newer version of membership. You can add a family photo and you can add an individual photo. Uh, so I'm going to walk you through that. It's probably not going to take uh, the whole 20 minutes of time we have allotted for today, um, but I'll hang and answer questions if any of those come up. Um, but I think this is really going to be beneficial for people who are wanting to uh, print some photo directories out of their church windows. Once those pictures get update, uh, uploaded, excuse me, you can um, print some pretty nice directories out. Um, I do want to show you on our website before we jump in um, where the information I'm covering today is coming from. So if you go out to churchwindows.com, up at the top under beginning, we have our training workbooks. If you go in here, you can see the different training workbooks that we have available to purchase. So they're $12 if you want to purchase and just download it as a PDF and print it off yourself. Uh, or it's $22 if you want us to print it out for you in like a binder ready format and then we will mail it to you. Um, but today we're coming from the M01 workbook which is right here and it's it's just two pages really it's page 20 and 32 so 20 shows you how to add the family photo and then 32 touches briefly on how to add the individual photo it's the same process it just depends on whether you're adding it to the family or the individual so that's where you can get the workbook that I'm following today if that's of interest um, also, this is being recorded, so it should be up on our website by the end of the day. So if you want to rewatch it, send it over to somebody else, um, just head out to churchwindows.com and go in our support center, and it'll be the, the very first one that you see. It should be up before 5 today. Um, I do want to let you know um, that I am the only tech in here today, so if you have questions, you can expand that question section and just type in your question. Um, I'm going to keep the question section minimized on my side just because if I try to read it while I'm talking, I get all mixed up. But if you have a question, wait till the end. I might cover it um, or put it in, but just know that I'm not going to answer them until I finish what I'm going to present. Okay? So let's get started. Uh, version 21.18.3 is our most current version of Church Windows. Um, if you have something different than that, you can head out to our website and download an update. Um, or if you're on an older version than 21, uh, just give us a call or email us uh, to support at churchwindows.com and we can help get you updated that way. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go into the membership module. And I'm going to go into people. So if you are going to be uploading a photo, whether it's on a family or whether it's on an individual, you have to be in their record in people, okay? So what I went ahead and did, I went ahead before the webinar and I entered my family. So I'm going to go ahead and look for the clients here. So this is my family. Um, <clears throat> I have myself, my husband, and then my two boys, okay? So you can see down here in the lower left-hand corner, I've added everybody. Um, in my family, I'm the member. My husband isn't. So if you look over to the right, you can see my status code is an active member, and I'm marked as the primary person. My husband, he's still in here. He still comes, but he's a visitor. So I've adjusted his status code accordingly, and I've changed um, his directory reporter. He's a two. Okay. Now, when you run a directory, it's very important that you have this box checked. Okay, this is the include on directory checkbox. Uh, you want to make sure you have this box checked for everybody whose name you want to see show up when you run a directory from Church Windows. So as I click through myself, you can see I have it checked, Mitch does, and both my boys have it checked as well. Okay, so like I said, I'm the primary, Mitch is the secondary, and then my two boys, they both have number three, which is child with family filled out in their directory report order box. Okay, so include on directory and directory report order are going to need to be, to be uh, checked 
for you to print a directory out of church windows. Now, with that being said, just to clarify, you can still get photos of people on reports even if they're not checked to print on a directory. So a lot of times um, I see people who want to print like um, a photo um, of someone. So say they want to print out the pictures of everybody who's involved in their preschool so they can match faces. Say you want to print out a photo of everybody who's on the finance committee or some other type of organization in your group. Um, you can still get that even if you don't have people checked to print on the directory. You can still get those photos out in a report. But if you are specifically running a directory, this box has to be checked. Okay? All right, so let's jump in first, it's on page 20, let's jump in on adding a family photo. So if you look up here across the top, you have a photo tab on the left-hand side of your screen. This photo tab is for your family, okay? Now if we look over here on the right, you also have a photo tab. This photo tab is specific to the individual. Okay, so you, you kind of have to pay attention to which side you're adding the photo on. If you have a family photo, you want to put it over here on the left-hand side. Okay, so I'm going to go to the photo tab here. It's pretty straightforward once you get here, but on the photo tab, um, this is where the photo will display once we update it. You have an add picture button, a clear picture, and a rotate picture. And those buttons do exactly what you think they will. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let me go ahead and put my family photo in here. I'm gonna hit the add picture button. And then my little open screen's gonna pop up. You're gonna need to browse to the location where the family photo saved. Sometimes they're on flash drives. Sometimes you might have them on a shared drive somewhere on your network at the church. Maybe you just have them in, a, in your My Docs folder on your computer. That's fine, you just need to make sure you can access them from here. So I went ahead and just put the picture on the direct, or on the desktop, excuse me. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my family photo. It does also help when you're uploading photos um, to put the family name as the uh, title of the file. That way you can just find things a little bit easier. Church Windows is going to accept uh, majority of the photo file extensions. So if we go back in here real quick, you can see over here, um, JPEG, GIF, um, BMP, PNG, it's going to accept those different file formats. As far as sizing is concerned, um, Church Windows in the new membership is actually going to adjust the photo accordingly. So in our old version, you had to have a particular size or we recommended a particular size. Now in the new membership, which started in version 20, um, it'll readjust or resize the photo accordingly. Okay, so there's my family picture. I went ahead and uploaded that. Now if you realize you grabbed the wrong photo, pretty simple, you can hit clear picture, it'll dump it, and then you can go back in to add and put the photo that you needed back in. There's also a rotate option. If the picture pops in the wrong way, simply hit the rotate picture and it's gonna turn it 90 degrees until you get it exactly where you want it, okay? So that's how you add the family photo. Now I also want to show you how to add an individual photo. Um, so if we jump back here to the right, let me get rid of my drawings. Um, right is also going to have a photo tab over here. It's going to be the exact same buttons that you have over on the left on your family record. Um, but this is good if you just want to add one person's photo. So like I said at the beginning, you have a, a committee report you need to put out or you want to print a little um, report to pass out of people on the new finance committee or something to that effect, you can put individual pictures in here. So same process, we're gonna hit add picture. I'm gonna choose the picture that I want for this individual, I'm gonna hit open and the photo is gonna pop right in. Same thing, clear if you need to get rid of it or rotate if the photo popped in the wrong direction and you need to flip it around. Very, very simple stuff here. Um, one of the nice things, too, about uploading individual and family photos is um, you can easily see who somebody is. So say somebody needed to find Rachel Klein at church on Sunday, but they didn't know what she looked like. You could simply pop in here, go to Rachel Klein's record, 
find me and you'll see what I look like. So you can find me at church on Sunday. So it's another, even if you don't print directories out, it's a handy tool to have the photos in here. Okay, or you have a new pastor who wants to meet people. This is a good option too. Okay, so that is how you upload photos. Um, now I want to show you too how to um, how it's going to look like on a picture directory. Um, so I'm going to go up here to reports. I'm going to go to reports and export, and I'm going to go to reports directory export. Over here on the right, you can set your categories. Um, or put in criteria if you only want specific people. You can also go to the sort tab, set your sort order field. Typically when you run a directory or some type of report with photos, it's helpful to be in alphabetical order so you can find everybody. So I'm gonna leave it on alphabetical. I'm gonna hit next. And I'm not gonna get into really customizing reports today. That's not the, the topic at hand. So I'm just gonna choose one of our templates that I like. But, 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 let's see here. I'll just do simple picture directory. I'm going to hit print. And this is one of our default layouts. It's a pretty popular one that people like to use. Let me make it full screen. So you can see of our default simple picture directory, it does just that. Oh, and there's my family. I'll have to readjust it to get it flipped around the right way. But there it is. That's how simple it is to get the photo uploaded into Church Windows. Now, you can also print an individual using the individual picture. So I do want to show you that as well. It says picture for family. I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to come over here to the right. And I'm going to grab a new membership field. And if you scroll down under individual, you can see there's a picture individual. If you choose this option, this is gonna give you the picture for a selected person. So this would then print my photo instead of my family photo. So this is the field you would use to grab an individual picture. Like, like I said, if you were running a report on a committee or something like that and you wanted to see individual photos, okay? So that's it. That's all I have for you today for uploading photos. Let me jump over here and see what questions we have.